Oxford Discover, Student Book Two, by Leslie Kustav and Susan Rivers, published and copyrighted by Oxford University Press. CD Two. Unit Eleven: Natural Resources. Get ready. Words. A. Listen and point to the words. Listen again and say the words. Resources. Wood. Landfill. Land. Trash. Smoke. Sunlight. Reduce. Reuse. Resources. Wood. Landfill. Land. Trash. Smoke. Sunlight. Reduce. Reuse. Page one hundred ten. Read. Natural resources. The earth gives us special and important things that we need to help us live. We call these things natural resources: air, sunlight, water, wood. And land are all natural resources. People need natural resources. Living things need clean air to breathe and clean water to drink. Plants need sunlight and land to grow, and we need plants for food. When plants breathe, they clean the air around them. We use the wood from plants and trees to make a lot of things, like paper. Some houses and furniture. Hurting our natural resources. We shouldn't hurt our natural resources because we can't usually make more of them. Smoke from cars and factories makes the air dirty. If the air is dirty, people can get sick and plants can't grow. If we cut down trees, we should plant new ones. Trash is very bad for our natural resources. Sometimes people throw trash into water, but we can't drink dirty water, and plants can't grow near it. Trash goes to places called landfills, and it stays there forever. Some landfills are dirty and they smell bad. People can't use that land. And farmers can't grow food on it. Taking care of our natural resources. We can all take care of the Earth's resources. Here are some ideas. Use things until you can't use them anymore. Don't throw things away. Reuse them. Refill plastic drink bottles. Make toys from old things. Reduce the natural resources you use. Take your own bag to the store.
What can you do today to help take care of our natural resources? Page 113. Grammar in Use. D. Listen and sing along. The Tree. Behind the house there is a tree. It grows peaches just for me. Between the flowers there's a bee. It flies around in front of me. Across from me the eagles fly above the ground into the sky. Prepositions of place. There's a tree across from the pond. There's a boy between the pond and the tree. There are birds above the tree. There's a squirrel behind the tree. There are rabbits in front of the tree. We use these prepositions of place to talk about where things are in relation to something else. The prepositions of place are across from, between, above, behind, in front of, page 114, communicate, words, A, listen and point to the words, listen again and say the words, camp, hike, ride a horse, surf, Fish. Ski. Camp. Hike. Ride a horse. Surf. Fish. Ski. Page 114. Communicate. Listening. C. Listen. Where is the pollution? 1. Are you ready, Callie? Hurry up and get your fishing pole. Let's go. OK, OK, I'm coming. Ew, Michael, look at all that trash in the water. Oh, no. We can't fish now. It's dirty. We don't want to get sick. Yeah, let's go home. 2. It's a beautiful day in the mountains. Lots of sunlight, blue sky, and... A lot of snow. It's great weather to ski. And it's so beautiful here. Look at the snow on the trees in the woods in front of the mountain. The trees, the animals, and the snow are just lovely. It's great, Dad. Look at that rabbit between the trees. We don't see any rabbits at home. You're right. The air is so clean here, too. The air at home in the city is dirty. Are you ready to ski down this mountain, Amelia? Yes, Dad. Let's go. Three. Okay, Colin. Let's take the horses over to that field behind the barn. Sure, Grandpa. Then can we ride the horses? Let's see if the field is clean now. 
There was a lot of litter in that field. Oh, no! Then we can't ride the horses. I think it's okay. Yes, look. They cleaned it up. Yes. Can I ride the big one, Grandpa? Four. Here we are, kids. Let's take everything out of the car. This is exciting. It's fun to camp. Wait a minute, Mom. What's that? Above the trees. It looks like smoke. Let's go look. Yuck! What a mess! People were cooking here. There's trash everywhere. Yes, and the air doesn't smell good. I'm sorry, kids. We better go home. Aww. Five. Are you ready? Yes, I have my new hiking boots on. Okay, we're almost at the park. Here we are. Oh. Do you smell that? Yes, it's awful. I can't hike. I can't breathe. The air is really bad here. There are too many cars and trucks on the road in front of the park. It's not healthy. Yeah, let's go. Six. Get your things, Nathan. Let's go look at the water. Wow, the water is beautiful, Dad. I can see the bottom. Yes, the water at this beach is very clean. I can see a fish between those two seashells. Dad, can we surf now, please? <laughs> Wait one minute, Nathan. Let me get ready. Okay, let's go. This is fun! D. Listen again and number the activities in the order you hear them. Then circle can or can't. One. Are you ready, Callie? Hurry up and get your fishing pole. Let's go! Okay, okay, I'm coming. Ew! Michael, look at all that trash in the water. Oh, no! We can't fish now. It's dirty. We don't want to get sick. Yeah, let's go home. Two. It's a beautiful day in the mountains. Lots of sunlight, blue sky, and... A lot of snow. It's great weather to ski. And it's so beautiful here. Look at the snow on the trees in the woods in front of the mountain. The trees, the animals, and the snow are just lovely. It's great, Dad. Look at that rabbit between the trees. We don't see any rabbits at home. You're right. The air is so clean here, too. The air at home in the city is dirty. Are you ready to ski down this mountain, Amelia? Yes, Dad. Let's go. Three. Okay, Colin. Let's take the horses over to that field behind the barn. Sure, Grandpa. Then can we ride the horses? Let's see if the field is clean now. There was a lot of litter in that field. Oh, no. Then we can't ride the horses. I think it's okay. Yes, look. They cleaned it up. Yes. Can I ride the big one, Grandpa? Four.
Here we are, kids. Let's take everything out of the car. This is exciting. It's fun to camp. Wait a minute, Mom. What's that? Above the trees. It looks like smoke. Let's go look. Yuck! What a mess! People were cooking here. There's trash everywhere. Yes, and the air doesn't smell good. I'm sorry, kids. We better go home. Aww. Five. Are you ready? Yes, I have my new hiking boots on. Okay, we're almost at the park. Here we are. Oh, do you smell that? Yes, it's awful. I can't hike. I can't breathe. The air is really bad here. There are too many cars and trucks on the road in front of the park. It's not healthy. Yeah. Let's go. Six. Get your things, Nathan. Let's go look at the water. Wow, the water is beautiful, Dad. I can see the bottom. Yes, the water at this beach is very clean. I can see a fish between those two seashells, Dad. Can we surf now, please? Wait one minute, Nathan. Let me get ready. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this is fun. Page one hundred fifteen. Communicate. Speaking. E. Listen and repeat. Then practice with a partner. Use the words in the box to help. Please don't litter. Use the trash can. Sorry, where is it? It's in front of that tree. Oh, I see it. Thanks. Unit Twelve: A Juice Carton's Diary. Get ready. Words. A. Listen and point to the words. Listen again and say the words. Carton. Diary. Paper. Blow. Shelf. Recycling plant. Machine. Stationery store. Rescue. Carton. Diary. Paper. Blow. Shelf. Recycling plant. Machine. Stationery store. Rescue. Page one hundred eighteen. Read, a juice carton's diary. January fifteenth. Dear diary, I'm sitting on a shelf in a big store. I can see many wonderful things. The little carton in front of me has a picture of an orange on it. I think I know what I am. I'm an orange juice carton. I'm made of hard paper. January sixteenth. Dear diary, this morning something great happened. A little girl looked at my shelf for a long time, and then she chose me. She's taking me to a picnic by the lake. So I hope she's very thirsty. January seventeenth. Dear diary, I'm in a lake. 
The little girl drank the juice, but she left me in front of the lake. The wind blew me into the water. I don't like it here. There was a trash can behind the tree. Why didn't the little girl put me in it? January 18th. Dear Diary, I saw a man taking litter out of the lake with a net. He saw my bright orange carton and he rescued me. He caught me and a plastic bottle in his net. Now we're in the boat and we aren't trash anymore. We're happy. January 19th. Dear Diary, I'm at the recycling plant. It's a little scary here because there are large machines that make loud noises. Where's my plastic bottle, friend? He's across from me. He's in a bin with other plastic bottles. January 20th. Dear Diary, I'm sitting on a shelf in a stationery store. Everything here is made of paper. Yes! They recycled me into a notebook. I'm very happy and excited, and I really want to see the recycling plant again. <sighs> Maybe next time I'll be a comic book. Page 121. Grammar in use. D. Listen and sing along. Where is Charlie? Looking for my cat Charlie. He ran away from me. Where is my cat Charlie? Come and look with me. Is he under the trash can? Between the bench and the tree? No, he isn't. He isn't there. Oh, where can Charlie be? Is he over there in the fountain? Across from the big statue? Yes, he is, poor Charlie. I'm here to rescue you. Prepositions of place. Questions. Where is the squirrel? It's behind the tree. To ask a question about the location of a person or thing, we use the question word where, is or are, and the person or thing we're asking about. Where is the tree? It's across from the pond. Where is the boy? He's between the pond and the tree. Where are the birds? They're above the tree. Where is the squirrel? It's behind the tree. Where are the rabbits? They're in front of the tree. To ask a question about the location of a person or thing in the past, we use where and was or were plus the person or thing we're asking about. Where was the squirrel? It was in front of the tree. Where was the boy? He was behind the tree. Where were the birds? They were above the pond. Where were the rabbits? They were between the pond and the tree. 
Are there rabbits in front of the tree? Yes, there are. To ask if a person or thing is in a certain location, we use yes or no questions. The yes-no question is formed using is there or are there before the person or thing we are asking about, and then the preposition of place. Is there a squirrel behind the tree? Yes, there is. Is there a cat behind the tree? No, there isn't. Are there birds above the tree? Yes, there are. Are there bees above the tree? No, there aren't. To ask if a person or thing was in a certain location in the past, we use yes or no questions. The yes-no question is formed using was there or were there before the person or thing we're asking about, and then the preposition of place. Was there a boy behind the tree? Yes, there was. Was there a cat in front of the tree? No, there wasn't. Were there birds above the pond? Yes, there were. Were there rabbits across from the tree? No, there weren't. Page 122. Communicate. Words. A. Listen and point to the words. Listen again and say the words. Time. Week. Nine o'clock. 9.15 9.30 Time Week 9 o'clock 9.15 9.30 9.45 Page 122 Communicate. Listening. C. Listen. What did Lucas do after lunch? 1. Hello? Hi, Lucas. This is Grandma. Are you okay? Hi, Grandma. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just very tired. <sighs> tired? It's only 7 o'clock. Why are you so tired? Because today is Earth Day, Grandma, and we were very busy at school. Tell me about it. We picked up a lot of trash behind the school, but it didn't take too much time. 2. Well, that was a good thing to do. Yes, and we visited the recycling plant. We saw them recycle plastic cartons. Well, that sounds interesting. That was at 9.30 in the morning? No, that was at 9.15. <sighs> was that all? Three. Oh, no. We reused glass jars and milk cartons and made them into a container for pens and pencils. Mine is purple and black. We did that at 10 o'clock. Sorry, Lucas. Did you say 10.45? No, Grandma. I said 10 o'clock. I can make one for you, too. That's lovely, Lucas. 4. After lunch at 1.45, we walked to the park. It took about 15 minutes. Then we cleaned up the park. Was it very dirty? Yes, it was. <sighs> well, that was a very nice thing to do for the town. Five. 
Each class from our school planted a tree in front of the park. It was fun. That was at two o'clock. The principal came too. That was at three o'clock. No, Grandma. Two o'clock. <sighs> It was a lot of hard work. And was that all? Six. Yeah. No, I forgot. We had a toy and book giveaway too. We brought our old toys and books in for the little kids. That was at two thirty. Good for you. Now I know why you're so tired. I think you should go to bed now, Lucas. You're right, Grandma. See you next week. Bye. Bye bye. D. Listen again and circle the correct times. One. Hello. Hi, Lucas. This is Grandma. Are you okay? Hi, Grandma. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just very tired. <sighs> tired? It's only seven o'clock. Why are you so tired? Because today is Earth Day, Grandma, and we were very busy at school. Tell me about it. We picked up a lot of trash behind the school, but it didn't take too much time. Two. Well, that was a good thing to do. Yes, and we visited the recycling plant. We saw them recycle plastic cartons. Well, that sounds interesting. That was at nine thirty in the morning. No, that was at nine fifteen. <sighs> was that all? Three. Oh no. We reused glass jars and milk cartons and made them into a container for pens and pencils. Mine is purple and black. We did that at ten o'clock. Sorry, Lucas. Did you say ten forty-five? No, Grandma. I said ten o'clock. I can make one for you too. That's lovely, Lucas. Four. After lunch at one forty-five, we walked to the park. It took about fifteen minutes. Then we cleaned up the park. Was it very dirty? Yes, it was. <sighs> well, that was a very nice thing to do for the town. Five. Each class from our school planted a tree in front of the park. It was fun. That was at two o'clock. The principal came too. That was at three o'clock. No, Grandma. Two o'clock. <sighs> It was a lot of hard work. And was that all? Six. Yeah. No, I forgot. We had a toy and book giveaway too. We brought our old toys and books in for the little kids. That was at two thirty. Good for you. Now I know why you're so tired. I think you should go to bed now, Lucas. You're right, Grandma. See you next week. Bye. Bye bye. Page one hundred twenty-three. Communicate. Speaking. E. What did you do last week to help keep the earth clean? Find a partner who did the same thing. Use the words in the boxes to help. I recycled my milk cartons. Did you? Yes, I did. I recycled my milk cartons too. Page one hundred twenty-four. Wrap up. A. Listen and read along. Gus's family is getting ready for their vacation. Clean this room, or you can't come. Gus throws his trash into the trash can. Help me, Dot. Okay, you can reuse this. They recycle paper, plastic bottles, and cartons.
You can recycle that. Oh, okay. They give clothes away so someone can reuse them. You can give those to our cousin. They're on vacation. Gus and his family camp in the woods. Look at the sunlight. It's wonderful here. They fish and ride horses. They have a great time. Let's keep the earth clean. Hello, it's time for today's big question. Why should we take care of the Earth? The Earth gives us special and important things that we need to help us live. We call these things natural resources. Air, sunlight, water, wood, and land are all natural resources. We need these natural resources, so it's important that we look after the Earth. We need clean air to breathe and clean water to drink. We need sunlight and land to grow plants. We need plants for food, and we can use the wood from plants and trees to make a lot of things like paper, houses, and furniture. Plants also clean the air around them when they breathe, so it's really important we look after them. The problem is that we are polluting the planet and hurting our natural resources. Smoke from cars and factories makes the air dirty, and if the air is dirty, Plants can't grow. Trash is bad, too. We make lots of trash, and this trash is bad for the ground. This means people can't use the land, and farmers can't grow food on it. All these things hurt our natural resources. We shouldn't hurt our natural resources because we can't usually make more of them. Luckily, there are some things we can do to help. We shouldn't litter, and we can reduce the amount of things we throw away so there's less trash. We can reuse things, too. We can make clothes and art with trash. It's important to recycle, too. We can recycle paper, plastic bottles, and cartons. And when we have things we don't use anymore, someone else can reuse them. We should all reduce, reuse, and recycle so we can keep the Earth clean and beautiful. I love nature, and it's really important that we all take care of it. Then we can all enjoy the Earth's natural resources. What do you like about nature? Page